Welcome to What is School of Languages. Today we are going to have a look at the usage of relative pronouns. How do you use relative pronouns? So let's quickly go and learn the objective of this lesson. Les objectifs de cette leçon sont les suivants. À la fin du chapitre, l'élève sera en mesure d'identifier les mots appelés pronom, pronoms relatifs et leurs usages. De les utiliser proprement en anglais écrit et oral. De faire les différents exercices dans ce manuel et ailleurs. At the end of this lesson, the people will be able to identify word called relative pronouns and their usage. Use them appropriately in English, oral, and written. Do activities in the book, in this book, and other places. So let's have a look at relative pronouns. Relative pronouns, what are they? They are words as follow: who, which, whose, what, and that. They link a subordinate to a name clause. Example, Gustav is a boy who is clever. She was a people whom I taught. This is the house that Antoinette bought. Now, relative pronouns refer to a noun phrase and pronoun that has been mentioned. Relative pronouns refer to a noun phrase or pronoun that has been mentioned. All relative pronouns must come as near as possible to the start of the clause they are in. If you understand, the relative pronoun should come as close to the sentence that they are in. The only word that normally comes before them in the clause are preposition or conjunction. <laughs> they are preposition or conjunction. Let's have a look at them in the activity that follows. Add a missing relative pronoun, but where possible, example, in objective case, make a contact clause with relative pronoun. Let's go and do the activity. One, the man you want just left. The lady was here yesterday has gone to Abidjan. The magazine you lent me was very interesting. The fish I ate three days ago was not good. The street leads to the school is very wide. The flowers I cut this morning are still fresh. The dress you are wearing is lovely. The person is sitting near to me, next to me is not very smart. The man cut your hair, did it very badly. The letter we received today had no stamp on it. So let's have a look at the uh, answers. The man that you want just left. The lady who was here yesterday has gone to Abidjan. The magazine that you lent me was very interesting. The fish that I ate three days ago was very was not good. The street which leads to the school is very wide. The flyer that I cut this morning are still fresh. The dress that you are wearing is lovely. The person who is sitting next to me is not very smart. The man who cut your hair did it very badly. The letter that we received today had no stamp on it. Let me explain here. Just let's take some few examples. Like the man that you want just left. Look after the that or before the that we have what a pronoun there, a personal pronoun. So here, the personal pronoun is the one doing the action here. The that replaces the man. So we are not going to use who here 
because after the dart or after the dot, there is no verb that follows. If there were a verb that follows, we could have used who. Let's go and have a look at the second example. The lady who was here. After or before the dot, we have words. So it means that we need to use a pronoun here, which is who, who, not that or which. Now let's go and see the number five, the street which leads. Here we are trying to emphasize on one particular street. So we should bring in which for you to know that it is this particular street we are talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the lesson, especially the activities on this particular lesson. We learned pronouns, relative pronouns, emphatic pronouns, possessive pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, and we've come to the usage of relative pronouns and do some activities. I know that you've gotten what we needed to get in order to be able to perform. I better still entreat you to watch the video once again and do the activities in your book. As we see on the platform, you can download the book and go through and do the activities. Until then, I would like to say very big thank you. It was a pleasure to be your teacher today. So you miss next time in the next class. And then you are going to have a look at the adjectives. Adjectives, very important. So bye-bye for now. Au revoir. See you.